Welcome to Dr. Walls and Friends on the Sisters in Harmony Network. We are live in the CPR studios with Miss Sharon Gordon. How are you doing today? I am good. Good. Wonderful. <laughs> today is a happening day. It is. There's a lot happening. There's a lot happening. <laughs> Especially the fact that you're here. Yes. Happy. <laughs> but there is a lot indeed happening yes. today. So tell the audience a little bit about CPR. First tell them what CPR is. Your audience knows, but my audience might not. Okay, so CPR is the coalition to preserve reggae music and the coalition to preserve reggae music is really um, an organization of reggae lovers mm -hmm. so we're not a Jamaican organization okay. we're a reggae lovers organization so whether you're from Timbuktu or China if you love reggae yes. then CPR is a home for you all right um, we are on a mission to raise the bar in the way reggae music is created, developed, mm -hmm. presented, and promoted. Mm -hmm. And that has just been the driving force behind all the work that we do. Wonderful, mm -hmm. wonderful. You know, as you were saying that, there were several artists that started to come to my mind. Ferris Hammond, of course. obviously one. So glad you said him first. Yes, have to. <laughs> you can stop right there, right? Any other artist, though. <laughs> Kushin Daya. Oh, yes. He has performed at our, our events. Our annual events, Kushin Dea, uh, performed in 2007. Okay. And also came back, and that's our annual Reggae Culture Salute Benefit concert. And he also performed in 2011, I think. Hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Keep coughing. And then, as you just were talking about, that it's for the reggae lovers everywhere. Tonight at your event, and mm -hmm. I want you to tell the people about the event tonight, someone coming from Germany. We have Uwe Banton. Mm -hmm. See, reggae, we say that. Reggae is Jamaica's gift to the world, mm -hmm. and it's the gift that keeps on giving. Oh, so, and, and let me just back up a little to say, reggae and Rasta, mm -hmm. have, they, they, they're synonymous in that um, many will tell you, and we agree, that reggae is the soundtrack mm -hmm. for the liberation movement, but this soundtrack came out of the Rastafarian experience, mm -hmm. okay. you see, and so it became the soundtrack actually of that movement before yes. it actually spread to being in you know you speak to someone in South Africa for example and they'll tell you that mm -hmm. it was the music of Peter Tosh and Bob Marley okay. and Jimmy Cliff and and, and um, Joseph Hill mm -hmm. you know their that it's their music that that helped them mm -hmm. to go through their liberation and people in, in in Rwanda wherever you speak to people like be wherever they'll tell you these stories of listening to reggae music and so reggae music really is this gift that has kept on giving. Yes. And so Germany, we have, there's a huge Rastafarian community in Germany. Wow. People are aware of that. Yes. And one of the one of our artists this year, it's our honor to have him. His name is Uwe Banton, mm -hmm. which is spelled U-W-E and last name Banton. Mm -hmm. And he is a Rastafarian, German, Caucasian brother. Wow. Rastafarian. Um, who does sweet reggae music and he not only does you know social commentary reggae music yes. he does lovers rock as well really oh yeah he's sweet uh -oh. oh yeah he's sweet okay so it's an honor for us to be having him here and this just it just is kind of you know dr walls kind of show you how diverse mm -hmm. the 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 purveyors of the music the practitioners of the music are you can't lock it into a little box and say, oh, it's only Jamaicans or yes. it's only blacks. Because that is not true. Reggae music is the movement of Ja people. Mm -hmm. It is the movement of Ja people that has caused reggae music to take on this, this level of recognition. Yes. For example, to the point where Bob Marley's one love became the song of the century yes for uh what was it time magazine or the bbc mm -hmm. who gave us and 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 um his album exodus became yeah. the album of the millennium so we need yeah. to really recognize the power of this music and its art form it's you know as you're speaking and i'm listening to the passion and purpose you're behind speak, your yes, voice yes. Yeah. and just from the origins to where it is now i never thought of the word folk Oh. when I first would think about reggae because oh. for my lifetime it's always been big oh so but to think that at one point it started out oh, yes. in a culture and then specifically within an embodied it, culture and then it went out to the so world so funny that you're saying that because you see that is good that you're making that point because for folk like myself mm -hmm. we we just take it for granted that 
people are aware of this, but right. you're absolutely right. It really came out of there was that incubation yes. period, so to speak. Yes. And it was in that incubation people that that period that they were the the the, the brethren and sisters in Jamaica at the time and throughout the Caribbean. Because let me make a, a a note here that when this was happening in Jamaica, let us not forget that the movement was picking up in Trinidad, in mm -hmm. St. Vincent, Guyana, yes. Barbados, you see what I'm saying? Yes. It was. Matter of fact, there are a lot of Rastafarian communities in these islands mm -hmm. who are completely insulated, so to speak, even more than some of the communities in Jamaica now because yes. they have really taken this thing and taken it to another level. Mm -hmm. But to get back to your point that it was during this incubation period then where the Bob Marley's of the world, mm -hmm. Peter Tosh of the world, yes. the Burning Spears of the world, and people like that. That's when they were basically um, earning their, the, you know, getting their wings their and name. to fly, yes. making their yes. name. Yes. And boy, did they fly, because now the music is known all over the Everywhere. world. Mm -hmm. Well, we're going to fly the commercial real quick, and then we'll be back shortly. <laughs> right. So we'll be back soon on Dr. Walls and Friends.